Well, hey, kiddies, Retro Dad. I'm about to head north and go to Callitz Gamers for Kids 2018. It's our seventh year going, and I can't wait to see what they have. Well, let's check it out after this. Welcome back to Soul Wrongs Retro Collecting. Just came back from Washington, and let me tell you about Khaled's Gamers for Kids 2018. I love Khaled's Gamers for Kids more than any other expo I attend, even more so than Portland Retro Expo. And this is just the line to get the badge. It goes for a great cause. As you see in the previous video I posted about the ARC, that little promo I did, you saw what Khaled's was made for. It was made for adults with disabilities to help them out. It's something I am a strong advocate for, been for years, and that's one thing I really love about this event. Also, I love the games, let's be honest. Speaking of games, let's talk about first selection. A lot. When I first walked in, the place for gamers had their booth, and I went there right away because it kind of drew me to it with a 50% off. Went around looking through. I'm getting some things, but not like I did before. But there were good prices and a lot of the games I thought, hey, it'd be nice to have again. I wasn't going after expensive stuff. I'm not doing that until around October. But I just wanted to get some mid-price stuff, a lot of cheaper stuff. And that's what I mostly went out to do. So I was going through the, the, the place for gamers. If you don't know, Josh is an excellent seller. He's a lot of great stuff. He had two little Samsons and I didn't record those. For attendance, there was a decent amount of crowd. Nothing like the Portland Retro Expo. That's one thing, another reason I really love this event. Now I went to Cowlitz looking for a, a couple specific NES titles. One, Battletoads. Looked around for it. No one really had the game. It's a game that wasn't that hard to get a couple years ago. It is impossible to find in the wild now. It's a game that used to be about five bucks, now it's shooting up to 25. 
And some of the cheaper NES games I was looking for is like Pinball Quest, Battle of Olympus, some of those. Now, I was also looking for Akari Warriors 3. I'm kind of weird. I don't really care for Akari Warriors 1. The Akari Warriors 2 is okay, but I really like the third game. And so I looked around for it, and no one seemed to have a loose copy. Did I get it? We'll find out soon. I actually had three Genesis games I was looking for particularly. Outrun 2019, Space Harrier 2, Dragon's Revenge. I have empty cases for them and I wanted to fill them with games. I expected to find Dragon's Revenge relatively easy and I expected to find Outrun 2019 but I thought Space Harrier 2 would be a problem loose. For Super Nintendo, I really didn't have a lot. I was kind of hoping for Battletoads Battle Maniacs. Really was the only Super Nintendo game I was kind of wanting to grab. You know, doing that Battletoads theme. My friend Peter has a wonderful 3D store. He was at Khaled's. Look at some of his work. Look at his Zelda artwork. The Kingdom Hearts. And many, many more. It's really cool. His partner also does graphics and she was right next to him. There's some really cool stuff. Yeah, I had tournaments there as well, and it was kind of fun watching the guys play. It was a game I never heard of. It was a modern game, I think a PS4 game. Something about falling down. Sorry, I'm terrible at I don't know what game that is. So what about prices? Well, the prices were relatively good. Actually, pretty good. Not only did Josh have 50% off, a lot of the other sellers had pretty good prices for their stuff. I didn't see anything that caught my eye going, whoa, I absolutely have to have that, it's really cheap. Okay, well, let's go on to pickups. Okay, once again, I got Ninja Gaiden 3. Now, I only got this game because it was a game I was iffy on. I was like, well, I love Ninja Gaiden 1 and 2, but I'm not a 100% big fan of Ninja Gaiden 3. But I kind of wanted to play it again and see if maybe try to play through it, maybe try even try to beat it. But I ended up getting it with a bunch of other games and got 10% off my order. So it brought down the game to like 40 bucks, which normally goes for 60 now. But that was a pretty good deal. So I got Ninja Gaiden 3. So I end up getting Battle of Olympus again. Could not find a loose copy of Mechanized Attack anywhere, but I got one in the box for $20, not a bad price. It usually goes for about $14 anyway. And I thought it was complete at the time, and it wasn't. I even think the seller thought it was complete, but it's missing the manual. <laughs> And this was frustrating. No one had a Kari Warriors 3 loose anywhere. One seller had it complete in the box, so I had to get it. Got it for about 40, which is really only $10 more than a cart goes for loose, so not bad. Like I said, I'm one of the few people who like a Kari Warriors 3. I like it, it's fun. I just can't believe how hard it is to find Battletoads these days. And I'm gonna talk about Battletoads and how I feel about it in a future episode. And this was actually another NES game I was looking for, and it's been one on my list for a while to get again in my collection, and it's Batman Returns. Surprisingly, this is actually a semi-difficult one to find, too. Why? I don't know. Because it's Batman. For Super Nintendo, I did get Battletoads and Battle Maniacs. It's actually one I have not played, so I'm looking forward to trying it out and seeing what I think of it. I've seen gameplay for it and stills. One I haven't experienced myself yet. Ah, 
oh, another Super Nintendo Bio Metal, and I got it for a pretty good price. So, yeah. Just one Game Boy game. Just one. Got for two bucks. Meh. Speaking of Game Boy, there was actually a lot of sellers who had Game Boy games either complete in the box or in their boxes. That's something you don't see very often. Especially the Castlevania games and even Battletoads and Link's Awakening. That, that was pretty cool to see. On to Sega Genesis. Now there was three games in particular I was looking for to fill these shells. Well, I was pretty sure that Dragon's Revenge would be an easier one to get. Well, did I get it? I was pretty sure I'd find this one, but no one even knew about this game. They're like, I never heard of it. And there was a lot of sellers surprisingly said that to me. Some people just said they didn't have it, but most of the sellers said they didn't even knew about this game. Okay, what about Outrun? So yeah, Outrun couldn't outrun me, I got it. Okay, what about Space Harrier 2? Yeah! Yes, I got Space Harrier 2. Actually, the same seller that had Outrun 2019 had Space Harrier 2. Uh... Get ready. Well, kiddies, I haven't had a haul like this since Khaled's 2012. Well, that's it for this video, so have fun. Go game. See you later.